Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chef Rock. I'm your host. Welcome to the Culinary Underground. An exciting day. What do you guys say over there? I got Johnny Valentine and the Candy Bullets, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! <laughs> nice to be here. How you guys doing today? Oh, beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know what? Look at it. We got a nice little breeze going. Beautiful right here at the uh, Hawaii Polo Grounds. We got one heck of a show for you today. Today, who's our guest chef? Big city diner chef, executive Dennis Franks. We're looking forward to it. We're going to learn some of the top secrets of that restaurant's been around for about 15 years. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but up in uh, Haleiwa, up here on the North Shore, there is a butcher shop called VJ's. VJ's Butcher Shop. It's across from the McDonald's. You can't miss it. It's right there, almost in the center of town, right, guys? I was, it's right across. The best meat in town, across from McDonald's. <laughs> hey, it beats, uh, beats anything they have there. I was over there the other day, and he goes, I, I, I never make the menu before these shows until I go see Justin over there, and he tells me what he got in fresh. So you got these beautiful, check this out. Come over here and take a close-up of that little bad boy. This is beautiful mahi-mahi. The mahi was actually swimming yesterday. So I have some beautiful mahi. I just like, right before I put it into the pan, I hit it with a little bit of sea salt, local, and a little bit of black pepper. Then I have a hot sauté pan, real hot. I'm gonna put some olive oil in there. Let's give it a good squirt. You can see it's starting to smoke. Can you see that smoke a little bit? That's what I want. So I got the beautiful fish. Can you see this over here? I'm gonna go and just put this skin side down right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a big sear on that. And let me grab a little paper towel here. Always gotta clean the hands. Now fish doesn't take a long time to cook, so please don't overcook it. Especially since I have to make a sauce that goes with it. I don't want it to overcook. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let that sear and while that's going, I'm gonna start my sauce. This is a real cool local style sauce because I got a lot of great local ingredients in here. So I got my pan going. I'm gonna throw some butter. Now with the skin side down, don't worry. You, you know, I want it nice and crispy. So it's not gonna overcook. So I'm gonna throw some butter into my pan here. Mm. A little butter. How about some shallots? You know, you can go with garlic, but shallots have a nice, more mellow flavor. So I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons in there. I'm gonna get this sauce going around here. Some local mushrooms, the Ali's. Muhammad Ali ones, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Joe Frazier. <laughs> 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 is that Mary? He's always yelling at people. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, was the, he was the greatest. So publicized, yet so criticized the man, Muhammad Ali. We're gonna go and put some of the spinach in. A little Howard Cosell for you. <laughs> Speaking of sports, put that right in. Now you can see the spinach, check that out. See the spinach starting to wilt? It's a good chance right now to add one of my favorite ingredients, the pinnacle, vodka, baby. It's the best in the world. But now, when you're going with vodka or you're flambéing with anything, be careful. Take it off the heat a little bit. And voila, it will flambé, burns off some of the alcohol, but I want that vodka flavor. That's why I put it in there. So why not? What the heck? Let's flambé with this. <laughs> this is really going to flambé, folks. So I got flaming fish, I got flaming mushrooms. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a little bit of whipping cream to my sauce. Now remember, anytime you cook with alcohol, be careful when you, you gotta pull it off the, the flame and then let the flame just touch. If you have electric, you could use one of these igniters and it will ignite. Just be very careful, have the fan on. And there, it's done for a purpose, it's deglazing the bottom of the pan pulling all those goodies off the bottom of the pan so you get all those essence, all those flavors. I'm gonna finish this off with a little bit of coconut milk. A little nice, I'm gonna go with a little, just a little pepper and just a little bit of sea salt. Nice and nice, just a little. Blend that about and it's a quick sauce, it's a reduction sauce. When you see that in a recipe book, what it really means is you're reducing some of the liquid from the cream to thicken up the sauce naturally, and that's the key right there. Now you see these, this fish is perfect like that. I already have some plated up that I cooked up for you. I'm gonna turn my sauce off. Can I put this right up here, guys? This is a good place to show off the dish. Got a little pepper on there. So I'm gonna come over here. 
And I'm going to show you how to just plate it up nice and easy. Little goodies on top. Little sauce around the sides. Mmm. Look at that. Nice. And then I'm just going to hit it with some little bit of papaya. For some shredded coconut. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The pinnacle. Mahi Mahi. Yeah, baby. Hit it, boys. Give me some Mahi music. This segment is brought to you by Kuna Brewing Company. It's Liquid you know. Aloha. It's now what you know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Chef Rock Comedy Hour. <laughs> back to the Culinary Underground, but sometimes it seems like a comedy hour to me. Even though it's only a half hour long, who can count, right? We're having a blast. Ever. Ladies and gentlemen, give another round of applause for Johnny Valentine and the Candy Bullets. They're fantastic. Earlier in the show, I told you we are going to have a guest chef. This guy is fantastic. He's from the Big City Diner. And we're not going to cook just yet, but I want to introduce you to uh, Executive Chef Dennis Franks. How are you, hey, sir? Man. Welcome to the show. Hey, you got some good me. stuff. What are we going to make today? Well, we're making kimchi fried rice. Oh, oh, my favorite, my favorite. Hey, guys, I heard you, uh, were you traveling, Johnny, just recently? Yeah, I just came back from Napa Valley. Yeah, they have uh, kimchi it? fried rice up there? <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> it's like the Big City Diner, huh? <laughs> no. Well, today we're lucky you guys are going to learn how to make it. So next time oh, you go right back on. up there, Johnny, you tell them, hey, I know how to make this stuff. <laughs> yes. Trade for a bottle of wine. Where, now, where yeah. were you? Uh, I went to Silver Oak. I went to Realm, uh, you know, right before Sonoma. So it was really nice. Isn't that great up there? Oh, I love it. You know, you go, for, you hop from one bar to the Started next. Started drinking at 11 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only place you can legally do that. Yes. <laughs> Now, speaking of that, I'm not, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little thirsty, you know what I mean? <laughs> now you got my appetite going, not only for the kimchi fried rice, but something that goes with it. And um, we're, right now we're, uh, we're honored to have Chandra from Southern Wine and Spirits. She's our, our mixologist uh, for today, and she's going to make an incredible drink, the first one, with Pinnacle Vodka. You all know Pinnacle, right? Woo! Yeah, baby. Hey, Chandra, take it away. 
Thanks, Chef Rock. I'm so happy to be here. I'm a total townie, so anytime I get the chance to be on the North Shore, I absolutely take it. I'm, we're gonna make a really fun, easy cocktail for you to do at home. It's, we're gonna do a play on the Moscow Mule, which is a classic vodka cocktail. And making great cocktails is not hard. It's a really easy thing to do. All you need is great ingredients and balance. And in order to make a great cocktail, you need to start with a great base spirit. So today we're working with um, Pinnacle, and this is their Pinnacle 80 unflavored vodka. I know a lot of you have probably become a little familiar with the, their flavors that they make, which are fantastic, but their unflavored 80 proof vodka is awesome in cocktails. It, it's made with wheat, made in France. It's the real deal, great juice. It just won double gold in the International Spirits Challenge. And so we're gonna go ahead and put our cocktail together. I like to build my cocktails in a mixing glass. That way I can see what I'm putting in my glass. I'm using all these beautiful fresh ingredients. I really want to highlight that. So I'm going to use some fresh lime. And every lime is different. Some of them are super juicy. Some of them are really dry. And I want to make sure I have the right amount of acid in my cocktail. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that. I want just half an ounce of lime juice. I'm going to use some kefir lime leaf. This is used in a lot of Thai cooking. It's very aromatic. So I'm going to put a couple of those in, just kind of pressing it together to release those oils. Give it a quick press with the lime. I'm using some fresh mango puree. It's going to give it a beautiful brightness. And then, of course, our pinnacle unflavored 80 proof vodka. We'll fill this up with ice. Make sure it's filled up all the way so that I don't dilute my cocktail, but I still get it really nice and cold. And I'll have my ice ready in my glass for my guests here, my beautiful people that are very thirsty. So hard to watch and not taste to make sure we get one for all of you. Give it a cover, make sure it has a nice seal on it, and give it a shake. We're calling this cocktail the Holly Eva Mule, and this should pair beautifully with the fish that Chef just created for us. It has a little bit of mango in it, and so I really wanted to tie together those tropical flavors and balance the flavors of the cocktail with the flavors of the fresh fish. So we're gonna top it off with a little bit of um, ginger beer. I try to use a ginger beer that um, doesn't use any high fructose corn syrup. We want it to be as natural as possible. And then we're gonna garnish it with some dehydrated mango. And a little bit of kefir lime leaf for aromatic again, just to tie that in. And here we have our holly the moon. Simply delicious. Healthy gluten-free soy sauce to complement any dish. Accent, splash, drizzle. Aloha Hawaiian style katsu sauce. From our family to yours, served with pride. Reach for the healthy choice. Aloha brand sauces. An island staple. Taste of tradition. Taste the flavors of aloha.
right down to it. I smell kimchi, baby. And it needs to be fried. Chef, Dennis Franks from the Big City Diner. The Big City Diner. Yeah. How, you got multiple locations. Right, right now we got five locations. Five yeah. locations. Right now, in, uh, 15 years. We've been 15 open. years, unbelievable. Yeah. And how long have you been there? You've been there, you were like four uh, when going you started. on about 13 years there, yeah. So right after they started the first location and then we opened the rest. That's incredible because, so, you know, a lot of chefs don't stay around that long, you know? Yeah, yeah it's a good place, local, you know, and, and the food is good, comfort food, the, the idea that, that the owner had. You know, we just built on that. And, and you stuck with it all these yeah. years. That, all and that, the way. That's, to going. me, that's important. It is. So we're going to learn some top secret big city diner yeah, inside of uh, We're going to learn insider something, info. Yeah, a little bit. A little okay, bit. I know you're hiding like yeah. one ingredient from me, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, like a pocket or something. You're going to throw it in when I'm not looking. I know you chefs. Everything so. is here. Come on. Everything is hey, here. let's get started. What's so, the first thing you want to make? Right now, we're going to do our, our kimchi fried rice. Okay. And on the other pan, with your help, of course, of course I can we're going to do, do a, veg a vegetarian version. Okay. Basically, no meat. We're going to add tofu. And uh, it's something that people, uh, they don't really know that we have a lot of vegetarian options or a mm -hmm. lot of even healthy options. This is sesame oil. Oh, nice. Oh, can you smell that out there? As soon as I hit that hot pan, woo-wee. Nice. A little bit of white onion. So you want these on medium high? Yeah, leave them so up. All them the up. way up. Yeah. This is the green onion. It's the stems. The white part the white for part. the stems, yes, yeah, so a, a little, little stronger. Yeah, a lot of people don't even use the stems. Yeah. I got the I got the top here. over here for for garnish, and right. the vegetarian. Add a little uh, substitute for the meat. Okay, some, a little carrots, a little some celery. And celery. Now yeah. basically, you can go with any kind of yeah. veggies you, you feel like. You can Japanese eggplant, maybe. Anything, exactly. Good. That's this is our okay. meat, our threw mixture your feet. of meat. Yeah. I didn't even say yeah. anything. I saw ya. <laughs> basically, it's all pork though. It's okay, it's, um, pork. it's smoked ham. Portuguese sausage and char siu. Oh, got to be Portuguese you know, sausage. So right? It's got all the different flavors in there. Nice. Oh, nice. Basically, you just want to caramelize, yeah. let the flavors develop a little bit. Sweat them out, right, out. baby? Exactly. Sweat them out. It's nice. Now, you grew up on this island? I did, all my life, yeah. Have you traveled yeah. around, cooked in other places? or uh, I know it's been 13 years. A little bit, place. a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, I haven't left the rock too much on occasion. Okay. You know. So basically, you got all your uh, experience here. And, yeah. and you're utilizing yeah, all that exactly. every day, which is great. Yeah. Which is great. Oh, that smells good. Mm. Add a little bit of kimchi. Kimchi. There you go. Y'all like kimchi, right? Yeah. I went out with her in high school. You know. <laughs> <laughs> She's a nice girl, you know what I mean? A little spicy. A little spicy. <laughs> now our rice. Our rice is a mixture of, oh, uh, okay. we use white and brown rice in everything. Okay, I see. Yeah. And, and is this, uh, over years of, of uh, making it this way, or just w a little healthier with the brown rice in there? Brown rice, we started, actually, that was, that's one of the, the things that we started Big City with, and that's the healthy option that people really don't right. know. You know, and we, we got, I mean, tofu, omelets, egg whites, vegetables, wow. you know, we got to do a lot of stir fries. Um, we opened and, and began the option of having brown rice with people and not charging more, it's just, you know, that's that's a nice choice. Everywhere more. you go, that's the upsell, yeah. right? Yeah, leave the husk out. We'll charge them more, right? And this is a sauce. Basically, it's aloha shoyu. Oh, we use. Uh, of course, it's aloha shoyu. Low sodium shoyu in all our restaurants, and a little bit of oyster sauce. Oh, Basically, nice. about three to about three to one option. Mm. Oh, look at that flying rice. See, there you go. Will you feed me? I think we're good. That looks good. Oh, look at this. Get a nice shot of those. Mmm. Get those crunchy bits. Chef, unbelievable. This is a little, uh, just oh. the, again, the green onion tops. Yeah. Very nice. Well, there you have it. What a big round of applause for Chef Dennis Franks from the Big City Diner. Let's pull these pan back and put these bad boys up front here so everybody can see. Don't worry, y'all. Y'all gonna get some after this break. The previous segment was brought to you by Aloha Show You. Taste the flavors of Aloha.
I thought in order to uh, pair with the kimchi fried rice, we'd make a really fun twist on a margarita using the bounty that North Shore has to offer. Whenever I come to the North Shore, I have to stop for a margarita. The North Shore is known for making really good ones, and it's uncannily really hard to find a really well-made one. And the trick is just using fresh ingredients and fresh lime juice. And what we're going to use today is also the Sousa Hornitos Plata. This is one of my absolute favorite tequilas. I love it in cocktails. I also love to just drink it straight. It has a tiny bit of sweetness in the end because of the fresh agave, and it really makes a good drink. So we're going to um, start with our fresh lime juice. I'm going to go ahead and um, put a full ounce of lime juice in here. This cocktail is called the Upcountry Heat. We're gonna play with opposing flavors today. So we're gonna do a little bit of sweet, sour, spicy, bitter. So I have my full ounce of lime juice. I'm using some local honey syrup as my sweetener today instead of an agave nectar or simple syrup. I like that little bit of honey flavor in there. And in order to make honey syrup, it's very simple. All you do is just dilute it with water so it doesn't stick to the bottom of your glass. So that way you can impart that honey flavor um, and have it dissolve really nicely in there. Oops, booby trapped. <laughs> there you go, so an ounce of local macadamia honey. I'm gonna muddle in a little bit of fresh cucumber and red bell pepper. So this is gonna give us a culinary infusion into our drink and also give it a savory note. I'm using crispy Japanese cucumbers, so you really gotta use a little bit of muscle to get all those flavors muddled in there nicely. The red bell pepper gives it great flavor without giving it heat, but I'm Korean, so I actually kinda like a little bit of heat. So what I did was I infused the salsa hornitos with some Mexican peppers, the chili de arbol, and it's really easy to do. You just stick two peppers in at night when you go to bed. In the morning, take them out and you'll have a beautiful just hint of spice. Not too much, but just enough to make it interesting. A little spice didn't hurt anybody. It's good for the metabolism. Healthy imbibing today. So we'll fill this up with ice. I have my glass already prepared with a beautiful salt, a local salt that I'm using from Kauai. This is a Keave smoked salt from Hanapepe. As Chef says, if, if we want to try to support local as much as possible, so we're just trying to keep that common theme today. Give it a good shake and a smile, of course. And we're going to strain it over fresh ice because this ice in my tin has already been bruised. And everyone eats with their eyes, so we want to make sure we garnish it really nicely. We're going to use a little bit of fresh cucumber that's been thinly sliced. And a little pop of red with the chili pepper. And here we have our upcountry heat. <laughs> Closed captioning provided by the American Renaissance Academy, preparing graduates for college and beyond.
simply delicious. Healthy gluten-free soy sauce to complement any dish. Accent, splash, drizzle. Aloha Hawaiian-style katsu sauce. From our family to yours, served with pride. Reach for the healthy choice. Aloha brand sauces. An island staple. Taste of tradition. Taste the flavors of aloha. We are dreamers. We dream about our future and how we make it ours. Where we are the community with pride and citizenship. Where learning is exciting. Where it's great to think differently. Dreams start at our school. American Renaissance Academy. Visit us at arahawaii.org. Considerations provided by Aloha Shoyu, Kona Brewing Company, VJ's Butcher Block, Skydive Hawaii, Hawaii Polo Club, American Renaissance Academy, and Sweet Leilani Florist. Mm -hmm. 